This is Jeff Wittick, performing a stunt at the request of his supposed best friend, David Dobrik. But what Jeff doesn't know yet is that in the next few moments, he'll be given permanent brain damage, changing his life forever. This is just one of the many examples as to how David Dobrik was known to push his friends to extreme lengths for content, this time leading to one of them coming millimeters away from death. It's the summer of June 2020, and David and his vlog squad are cooking up ideas for a new video. The stunts that they've been undertaking recently have been a product of David realizing that putting people in danger seems great for views. As the stunts got more and more dangerous, the view count would only increase, reinforcing this idea. Jeff had already been in many of the stunts with David's team and was clearly already detecting a pattern long before the incident. When the f we go from agreeing to one jump to 25, and then Natalie gets on. Oh yeah, I'll do it too. What's the big deal? Are you scared of your pussy? <laughs> and now we're here. So David says jump, you say how many times? David, good. I swear if I hear that joke one time, I'm out. As the squad jumps out of planes, swings from excavators, and does death-defying moped jumps, it becomes increasingly clear that when David says jump, his friends ask how high. Multiple members have already been injured while making these videos, but somehow David always managed to avoid doing the activities himself while pushing them to do more and more crazy things. From snake bites to broken ribs, as of now there have only been minor injuries and the money coming in has been quite the bandaid, but no amount of money can change what would happen next. After using the excavator as a motor for tubing and wakeboarding, the boys had the bright idea to use the rope as a swing. Though the first unlucky participant was Corinna Kopf, who immediately told David that he's taking things too far, this did not discourage Jeff from trying it since he did just skydive and the adrenaline was still pumping. But somehow, 10 feet above a lake was so much more dangerous than 30,000 feet in the clouds. Oh! 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 Jeff was swinging faster and faster around the excavator when suddenly David stopped the machine and Jeff crashed directly into the hard metal. He fell into the water and started drowning as his foot was still tied to the rope. As the vlog squad raced towards him to help, they realized that he needs to go to the hospital immediately or he's going to die. When I woke up in the hospital, I was in shock. I was in a lot of pain. I tore some ligaments in my leg. I broke my foot. I broke my hip. I shattered my skull in nine places. I shattered my eye socket. I almost lost my eye and I almost died. Jeff's accident was clearly traumatic, but upon waking up, doctors explained how much worse it could have been for him. Well, what you hit would have been about three degrees different. Or if that would have entered about three millimeters higher and been on the same angle, it would have cut your eye right now. And if it was the, a few inches the other way, it would have killed me? If it had gone the other way, it would have cut the big blood on so you would have died. Though he was thankfully alive, Jeff was still far from being well. During his time in the hospital, he got to reflect on what really happened and what led him to this moment. To start the recovery, he had to stop working out and gain fat in order to increase the chances of success in his upcoming surgery. Jeff was now out of the hospital, but having to stay relevant as a content creator without being able to talk about his injuries added a huge mental strain to a man who was already dealing with incredibly physical injuries. During his famous series, Jeff's Barbershop, most of his guests didn't actually know that he had been injured, and in the interest of protecting David, Jeff didn't tell them what happened, which only hurt his mental state even more. I filmed the Dixie D'Amelio episode. We just play it up as like a joke. We make it like it's prosthetic makeup. I don't even think she knew if my injuries were real or not. More and more, people were questioning what was going on with Jeff and accusing him of undergoing things like Botox and criticizing his new appearance without knowing he had almost died just a couple days earlier. The mental anguish was also made worse by the brain trauma that Jeff experienced during his crash as both sides of his brain were permanently damaged resulting in heightened anxiety, lack of motivation, depression, and other symptoms and illnesses that would have long term impacts. As Jeff suffered in silence, resentment started to build towards the man who caused all this pain. He almost died, Jonah. All you had to do was come check on me, talk to me man to man in person. And that's it. Every day, David would post a new story or picture of him living a crazy life while Jeff was recovering from a near-death experience that would stay with him forever. Though Jeff originally wanted to protect David from the backlash of what happened, things would become more and more difficult when others who were present at the scene released the footage of his accident. David was forced to face what was happening to Jeff, but instead he used it as another opportunity to make some content. Dude, the joke you sick <laughs> 
Clearly referencing the scene in The Dark Knight, apparently it was actually Jeff's idea to have David dress up as the Joker. Jeff was still using his sense of humor to deflect from the reality of the situation and protect his friend who must have felt incredibly guilty about the whole thing. But it seems like David only felt bad when the camera was rolling. After the initial visit, Jeff didn't hear from David for the rest of the time that he was in the hospital, which would just drive the wedge further into their relationship. He was clearly hurt by David's inaction and it started to show more and more, especially on camera. I made a mood board. That made me happy. I cut his eye out with a knife. It's just a joke. Relax, everybody. I'm not really gonna cut his eye out. When David and Jeff finally met up once again, months after Jeff left the hospital, the tension was clearly high between the two. Close your eye and try and hold it like that for 10 days. It's fucking hell. Though the vlog squad did join Jeff for a follow-up surgery, it was only done at his request, and of course was once again used for more content. Jeff continued to joke about being mad at David, but here it seemed like he was actually getting over it and things could start getting back to normal. I'm not gonna come kill you in your sleep. I'm gonna learn to forgive you. It's a lot easier to forgive you when you're around. He totally. took the time during his recovery to document the whole process and turned it into a mini-series called Don't Try This At Home. Though the docuseries had a chance to expose David and show what really happened behind the scenes, Jeff allowed David to edit the entire thing so that he would not come off like a villain. Though the series did do quite well and showed everyone what really happened to Jeff, he later regretted allowing David's involvement when two bombshells were dropped on Jeff, severing his relationship with David forever. Can you, pro can you promise me one thing? And I said, what? And he's like, can you just promise that no one ever knows that this was my idea? And I was like, absolutely. Like, one of the final straws in Jeff's relationship with David was when David refused to take accountability for his actions and actually blamed the accident on Jeff himself, saying that it was his idea and that David did not want to do it. Unfortunately for David though, the video shows him swinging other people beforehand, and Jeff himself later responded to the podcast episode with his own thoughts on what happened. Okay, so right now David is saying that I'm, I'm there, head smashed open like a f***ing watermelon. And exploded on a hospital bed. They cut all my all my shit off. My chain. They give him my chain. He's the only one allowed in the hospital, so he's the only one there. My brain is hanging out of my skull. But my my one last wish was, David, please, please don't tell anyone that this was my idea. Are you fucking out of your mind? Are you that? And sick in the head. Though this was already a blow to Jeff's confidence in David, the second bombshell came when David stopped paying for Jeff's hospital bills after promising to cover everything. Jeff had undergone more than nine surgeries, some of which were life-threatening as a result of the accident, and though David generously offered to cover all of it, that may have just been another empty promise. But I got a bill that wasn't paid that I didn't know about because I'm not dealing with it, and they didn't pay a fucking bill. I got an infraction on my credit now. I go to get a house and I can't get a loan. So it's just like things are piling up over and over again and just try a little bit. Jeff's response to David ended with Jeff announcing that he'll be taking legal action against his once close friend. Since then, he's allegedly sued David for over $10 million, but it seems like it's not just about the money at this point. Jeff needs the closure of not only having one of his closest friends betray him, but then the surrounding members of the vlog squad gaslighting him and not really caring about what happened. Of course, the blame can't be fully placed on David as Jeff did willingly get onto the excavator, but this once again tracks as there's been far too many times where the vlog squad members risk injury and death for the sake of David's videos. Jeff has since surrounded himself with other friends and seems to be doing better, although he will permanently require updated surgeries onto his eye, getting one as recently as three months ago. Though there aren't any updates on the lawsuit, Jeff may be getting the last laugh, as David has since removed himself from YouTube after multiple scandals came out regarding him, however the karma may never replace what Jeff lost.